Hi, my name's John. Welcome to another Sunday Night Nightcap. Tonight's nightcap is going to be the same sort of format as I ran for the last few weeks. Uh, I've got some machining work. I've got one or two uh, car boots and items I picked up this morning. And as usual, we'll do a little bit of more work on Richard's Central Steam Wagon. Got an update on Debs. Debs is doing great, just improving all the time. Uh, this coming week on Tuesday is our last treatment uh, for our cancer. She goes in for one more injection, then after that, she's finished. All it does is monitor, uh, keep an eye on the monitor, so hopefully that's going to be the end of it. Um, it's been a long, drawn out affair. It's gone on for 18 months, uh, but we've managed to get through it. I think it's actually made us both stronger. It's certainly made me stronger, and it's made me appreciate what a strong woman I've, I've got for her life. Absolutely fantastic. And it also uh, it makes us grateful, not grateful, but it makes us appreciative of everybody who sent in all the, the views, all, the, all the, the well wishes and the gifts. It's been absolutely fantastic. Uh, it's lifted her spirits, it's certainly lifted me. So once again, thanks very much for that. Package turned up this week. It's a package from Artec Welding. As you probably know, I have done quite a few videos for Artec Welding. I do like our equipment. Anyway, the rang us up and asked us if I would like to do a review on this. It's called La Square. If you watch Jody Collier on Welding Tips and Tricks, you'll see Jody uses the exact same square. I've actually wanted a one for a while, but I just haven't known where to get one from. I know we can buy them from Artec. Um, I've had a little bit of play with it and I'm very impressed so I will do a video if somebody sends us something and I don't like it I just do it bother doing anything about it um, but I have a little bit of play with this and I'm going to do a video for our tech showing this off basically uh, so I'll put one or two little clips in from the video but it is quite a nice bit of gear American well made stainless steel blade this one's metric the dual imperial and I think they're doing imperial one side, metric the other, which would be better for me. They also do a 24 inch one. These are the two car boot set items I bought this week. Uh, both scrapers. That's a bearing, what they call a bearing scraper, like a curved scraper. And this one's a flat scraper for scraping. That's right, flat things. I've actually got one of these that was made from a real file with a carbide tip or a tungsten tip brazed on. This has got a proper holder on for holding. I'm holding the tip. It doesn't look like it's been used very much, but this one here has been used a lot. I was talking to the guy, I bought them off at the car boot sale. Uh, he's a retired tool maker, and unfortunately, I missed. He sold a lot of measuring gear and a lot of that tools. I missed them. This was basically all that was left. Anyway, I gave five pounds for the two, the two items. And I think this one is probably well, not the better, but it's the one I'm going to use more. The straight, the curved one. I do like using second hand tools that somebody's already ruined and made their living with. This is the lathe tool I bought at the car boot sale last week. What I thought about doing was machining it down the same as that one so it fits into my standard tool holders. There is another way of doing it. I did quite a few when I had my box fad lathe. That's a tool holder there, and you can see the tool isn't actually that much thinner than the tool holder. So what I could do is machine a dovetail in there, and that, sorry, machine a dovetail on that side, and that would go straight onto my tool post. So that would drop straight on there like that, and then obviously that would pull it in and tighten it on. It's got two advantages. One is that's very little overhang. It really is tight into the the tool post compared to that one. Compared to that one. And the other thing is, it'll save using the tool holder up. I think I'll measure up and machine that slot in there. I have got a dovetail cutter. That's it there. Unfortunately, it's been broken. I lent it out and it's come back broken. The lad that broke has also given us the money to replace it, but it, it, still, it still actually works. The first measurement I need to know is how deep that slot is in there. So if I measure. There's 20 mil. Don't 
20 mil there, 30.5, 30 30.4, 20, 30.4. So that's actually 10.4 to 10.5 mil deep between that face. So you want to go down there 10.5 mil. I measure the width of it as well, that width there. And all, all the dovetail cutter does is cut the dovetails, the rest just doing the straightforward conventional milling cutter. Thirty-six mil. That's better. I've got 12 mil. So I've got enough height sticking up to get me 10.4 mil slot in. I'm going to take a massive cut, 30 40 thorn to grow, probably one minute at a time, which is going to, it's going to get us there. Like I say, this stuff is pretty hard, pretty tough. These square edges. Thirty-five dead. What we need to do now, we need to machine the centre of this out, just leaving a little bit on the edge. For a dovetail cut and a cut, you don't want to be cutting the full face of that with a dovetail cut. Now you just want to be cutting basically the dovetail. So ten mil from each side or five mil from each side. I machine that down. Machine the center out of it. So once again we're in zero. Number five mil. Five mil. Right, so what I've got now, I've got 35 mil between them two. I've got just over 10 down to there. That's at 11. So when we do my dovetail cut, I goes in. All it'll be cutting is that little edge there and the dovetail itself. It's not going to be cut touching the base there. And this gives you some idea how hard this material is. It really is hard and tough. The ones I did on my box fan layer that actually softened them. I heated them up red hot in my furnace and let them cool overnight in the machine a lot easier. But I'd rather I'd rather not soften these just do it this way. So that's that roughed out now. All I've got to do is machine the, the dovetails in.
you get a really good hold of this cutter because naturally it tries to pull down as it's being used. I'm using Aureate collets. And I've measured up and I need to go down on that face half a mil, then into there four mil. So we've got a we're gonna machine a dovetail like that. So in from the bottom four mil and half a mil down on that flat. The first thing I'll set to depth, I'm just turning it by hand so I feel a touch. Right, that's just barely touching there. So I'll zero the digital readout. And I can go back to that. Now we need to touch this face here. That's it just touching there. Right, so that's zero, so that's just touching. Just touching the bottom. So the first thing I'll put in is a half mil. And I'll lock off the Z axis of that. Need to be cutting from the other side actually. Okay, so that's down to depth. Now we'll put a cut on. Put half a mil on that way. Lock up the table. It gets harder and harder as the cut progresses as obviously I've taken more and more material out. That's having the desired effect. See so it's only cutting on that little bit there and it's left the left to centre Nice finish on. Right, that's one side doing, we'll do the other side and then try it. broken it's still still doing the job that should be its last cut take it out and try it I can put it back in the vice if I have to wait what a moment of truth That's, that's not bad. In fact, that's just about the dog's bollocks, that. They're slightly tighter. But that's certainly, certainly acceptable. Let's put a nice finish on the on the important dovetail parts. I'll just put a radius cutter on. I just knock those two sharp corners off there, 
then tear your rest up with a little file. That's going to be quite a useful tool. You can see what I mean about it having no overhang, it's really close tight into the tool holder. To drill and tap that and put a tab in to keep it set on centre height. You often find these at car boot sales, these aren't bigger tools. I'll be buying these from now on and simply doing that with them. I was going to buy some more or make some more tool holders, but if I can get some more tools like this, it'll save us a bother of making tool holders. Quite sufficient, just enough to roll the edge over. That's nice. I've got the hole marked out for the height adjusting stud. I'm going to use a nice fine thread, 10 by 1, because I've already got a 10 by 1 stud. Pick the centre up by. This really is good material we're playing with here. It's not certainly isn't rubbish. for 10 mil that would be more than that it would Right now we need to try and get the tap into there. We'll use anchor loop to try and cut this thread because it is horrible stuff for trying to cut. Really tough material. So that tap starts in there and that goes onto the machine face on the top of the tap and that'll keep it nice and square. You whoops. Can't get a top wrench in, but this will no doubt surface. It's going in quite nicely. I'm not bad. I thought it would. It is a new top. I'm not sure where I got a 10 by 1 top from, but it's, it's been handy. I've used it once or twice. Past that. There's enough threads in there for what that's got to do. This is set up in the drill mitt as well. Use the counter sink and just break the edges of the, of the hole like that. Beautiful.
drop of Loctite just to hold it in place permanently Once this is set, that'll be this. That'll be it. We want you to just again. That's something drops on. That's yeah. We'll just have the centre height. It should be up there somewhere. Once it's set up, we'll lock those two together, and that's a tool basically done. I've got some tips that will fit this. I have to get some more tips. Well, it's a nice tool, it hasn't had a great lot of work by the look of it. it hasn't been crashed into anything. It's still in good condition. And this is, that's a tool there that I modified to fit into a holder. You can see it's sticking out quite a lot further. Very happy.